IoT or Internet of Things is, is one of the emerging technologies that we're looking at and that we can help people to embrace. When I get up in the morning, I pop on my scale and the information is automatically transferred to a website. Uh, I go to the gym and thanks to my wearable uh, Fitbit device, the number of steps and the calories I've burned go to the same uh, device. So we're starting to get used to this concept as consumers of information traveling from place to place, of machines talking to each other and automating processes in our life. This has dramatic design implications. So when you design these products, uh, you have to start to consider the user interface and the firmware and the software and the merging of mechanical and electrical and doing the things that are required to make a great iPhone app and a great tablet app, knowing where this information is going to go to. And that's very prevalent in consumer apps with wearable devices and other home automation and security devices, uh, watering your lawn. So there's a, a never-ending stream of consumer devices. But this actually will extend into even our current core markets, things like industrial equipment and machinery. Imagine you're designing a machine with 5,000 parts, it's go, going to go on a shop floor, and it's going to have many parts that have a mean time between failure that you, you know what it is, and you know that it's going to need service on these parts at some point, and that if these parts fail, it's going to cause a critical stop in the production line. So as an engineer, you want to use SolidWorks and your design suite of tools to put in the sensors that you need and program in the meantime between failure so that later when your service people are on the road they might even be able to drive by certain buildings and know that hey this particular customer has a part where we expect this critical fan belt or motor or solenoid to be coming to the end of its useful life we can get in there and do service and repair before the breakdown and the stoppage occurs because this machine will have been sending information back to the manufacturer on a, on a constant basis using this Internet of Things. Customers will actually stop buying complete machines. There's a movement now for manufacturing companies to want to buy based on production only. In other words, I want to buy this technology that can crank out this particular bracket, let's say, but I don't want to pay you $5 million for the machine. I'll pay you $100 per bracket. And so now the responsibility and the onus is on the manufacturer to make sure they have the most reliable machine, that they don't get any downtime, so they have even more of a vested interest in this model of sending information back to their home base, knowing when parts are going to fail before they do. And so this all has to be integrated into the design process early, and this is integral and core to the, to the concepts and precepts of Engineering 4.0 as well. So a very significant trend, uh, IoT, and I think it wraps in nicely with the Engineering 4.0 framework.